Hey guys, what's up? So we're back and we got our GoPro so we can finally do more fishing videos and look what we have today. The Mr. Taco Box. Um, May, the May box for Mr. Taco Box. Um, I don't even know what baits are there because it's still closed. I'm going to be opening it with you guys, showing you everything it has inside and trying to catch at least one fish on every single bay and maybe even more than just one fish. We're at a beautiful spot right here that we've never been before with you guys. It's literally like almost Everglades, sort of. Like, look, look. Alligator morning sign, I don't know. But look at the pads, there's like saw grass. Not really over there, so we'll be fishing this whole entire pond. And there's a couple other ones in this really nice neighborhood. So hopefully we do on some big fish because it's been a while since I made a fishing video. And it's been a while since I actually got on a pretty big fish. So wish me luck and let's get straight into the box and see what it has. So here's the box. As you can tell, the tape is still on there because we haven't even opened it. I don't even know what's in here. Hopefully we do have some pretty good goodies. And yeah, because I'm really looking forward to opening this bad boy. All right, let's see what we get. It's really cool sticker here, a catch code sticker. A little guy on a John boat, that's pretty cool. Little thing right here which tells us everything that's in here. So we'll see that in a second. Little tips and tricks, little book right here. Okay, so the first thing we have is a Carl's Amazing Bait Thwacker, or Thwacker, whatever it's called. It's six ninety nine, so that's $7. And it right here, it looks absolutely amazing. This will do really, really good in this clear water. Then we have the Lunker Hut Impact Series Jolt. This bait retails for $5.99, so $6. And it is this right here. This right here looks really good. It dives two and a half feet, which is going to be perfect for the water we're fishing in. And it's like a nice orange, black on the top, shiny. Oh my god, I just got blind. And it floats, and then when you bring it down, it goes down. That's really, really cool too. Next, we have the Strike King Ocho um, $4.99, which I'm pretty sure is this yeah this right here it's a little like little like senkos almost they're a little bit smaller probably maybe five inches not six and they come like in a watermelon red looking color with little red and black flakes that right there also looks really really good definitely can catch a lot of bass on this then we have the smart bait disco worm oh that's pretty cool disco worm and this retails for 3.99 so that's three bucks and it's these bad boys right here i've never seen this bait before like in stores so this looks pretty cool and it's like a worm with like a little ribbon type of pattern and then has a cool little ribbon tail right there that's gonna um, like move in the water really cool and it says color changing baits and right here there's pictures of how the colors look if this actually does change colors that's gonna be pretty freaking dope we'll see after you see that and then last but not least we have the stickies wacky drop shot hook two dollars and ten cents and there are these bad boys and it's literally i don't know how many hooks come in here but they look pretty cool so these are going to be rigged up with our worms right here and then these are right here so we have a total of four baits that means four fish with to catch hopefully more i think we will catch more let's get in this box and see what we catch to start pretty simple we're just going to be throwing these kvd um striking um, little worms with one of these hooks the wacky rig drop shot hooks so let's open these bad boys up and see how they look together wow that is a super tiny hook look at that guys these are wacky rig hooks and since this is a tiny little worm we're just gonna rig it right through the middle like that and then boom we have our little wacky rig worm this should catch bass in like the first 10 casts at least that's really that looks sexy that's a sexy bait right there these boxes are literally the coolest thing in the world it's like a little christmas every single month little surprises awesome cool little stuff thank you mr taco box here we got the little striking wacky rig worm and let's see what we get this pond is super clear as well, so we can see like absolutely every single fish in here. Oh, that's a fish. No, we lost our worm. Are you no way, we lost our worm, guys. But we did get our first fish. I kind of saw this guy, but I didn't think he would eat, but he did. There you go. First little bass of the day. It's literally been five minutes, just like I said, but we're not gonna really count this as a fish because he's super tiny, but we're gonna try to go back in the water, get our lure and catch another bass. All right, we're going back in to get a worm. I don't know where he spit it. I know it's somewhere around here. Is that it? Yeah, I think I see it. Oh, let's go, we got our worm back. Oh, look, there's two peas right there. I think those might be bedding. I'm just gonna toss this here one time. If they don't eat it, then I'll just switch it. I just would like here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them. They're right there. I literally want to put the camera in the water and catch them for you guys. Since 
there's some peacocks right there in that little bed. I don't usually like catching fish on beds, but I'm gonna put the GoPro in the water right next to them, like between two rocks, and I'm gonna be casting this right here, and I'm gonna try to catch at least just one. I'm not gonna catch both, so it could be like underwater film. That'll be really, really cool. Wow. Guys, this has little rattles. That's a beautiful bait, and it sinks too. So we only technically caught one, even though as you saw he did come off because I was just letting him fight for the camera and then he just popped off, which is actually better for him because he went right back to his bed. And the other one, just I don't know where the hell the other one went. So we're just going to keep moving, but since we already have this lipless cool thing tied on, right? We're not going to take it off and I'm not going to count that peacock because it was on a bed. So let's see if we catch a bass on this. Can you guys believe I walked this whole entire pond and then have one single bite? Like it's crazy. Like like it sucks. So I switched to this little the crankbait, the lunger hunt crankbait. And we're gonna fish this little area right here that we did at the beginning, this little hole part right here. And then whatever we catch or don't catch, we'll switch up to another spot. And I see this little peacock right here, which is a peacock that we saw earlier, right? And now that I have like a crankbait tied on, I'm gonna see if he eats. And I don't think he's betting because he's by himself. And normally when P's bad, there's two of them, so I'm going to see if I can maybe catch him. He's a decent size, too. Oh, guys, we got him. Oh, he came off. Damn. Oh, no way, guys. We caught a fish, finally. That's a bass. Oh, this guy is totally unexpected. Look at that, right on the top of the mouth. This guy is definitely a lot bigger than the first one we caught. Hooks out, beautiful little bass. Oh, right, guys, we got the peak I'll this time. Oh. Bring him up here. Ooh. <laughs> Holy crap. This fish is literally beautiful. I don't want to put him in the grass because I don't want to hurt a slime coat. The fish came off, but this right here is a beautiful peacock bass. I have to guess maybe a pound and a half, almost two. Maybe just a pound and a half, but this right here, guys, is a beautiful, beautiful Florida fish. Look at that. Beautiful tail right there. Nice and fat too. We're gonna go ahead and put him back on its bed. Well, I'm not even sure if it's his bed, but we're gonna put him back. Beautiful fish. Oh, great. We caught our first cichlid. Surprise! Why we didn't catch this fish sooner? <sighs> there he goes. Oh no, guys! God, we lost a peacock. Crap! That guy had literally the prettiest clothes in the world, and he was stuck in that plant, so I couldn't just flip him. <sighs> Damn it! Now we're gonna switch once again to the last and final bait for this challenge and this box. The color changing smart baits. These look pretty cool. Stretchy rubber. Not really any smell. And right there we cut that off. Boom. That looks sexy right there. The only problem is that I forgot the, the hooks in the car. So we're gonna have to throw this on one of those super, super tiny hooks and see how that goes. The wacky hooks. Not sure how this is gonna work, but it'll be, it is what it is. This right here is exactly what we're working with. Look at that. 
literally the hook barely pops out of like the head that's good a big bass is gonna have to eat this in order to hook set it because if a small bass comes eats the tail right and doesn't eat that we're not gonna be able to catch him as of right now the bait is like a clearish white with a dark gray with sparkles on the top we're gonna see what color this changes into Another bass, a bit bigger than the first one actually. Wow, let's go. That's already three fish with the smart bait. Yeah, and by the way, this bait hasn't changed colors, so I'm not sure if it depends. I don't even know. We switched back to this little striking wacky rig worm because the other one already caught three fish and we actually lost the worm so we're just gonna be catching this one and then we're gonna switch and i already got a fish guys oh <laughs> no way no way that was like one second that guy ate it on the fall like extremely look at that hooked right on the top beautiful fish anyways like i was saying we switched to a little wacky rig worming we're gonna catch a couple more on this and then we're gonna switch to a little thwacker, um, lipless crankbait looking type of bait and cut, try to catch at least one more fish on that. All right, GoPro's about to die and we're switching to our last lure that we lost at one PicoCon, but we didn't catch any fish and it's called the thwacker. It's like a little um, lipless crankbait and it's uh, like quacks and not quacks. It has little like balls in it that make noise. So we're gonna cast it out there and see if we can maybe catch a fish. And look at that, we already did. First cast on this bait. A beautiful, fat, chunky little bass, actually, not gonna lie. That was instant, guys. This is the smallest, but chunkiest bass so far. Put him back. See if we catch another fish. Oh, guys, we got a peacock. Oh, holy crap, you guys saw this? Woo! Oh, we kind of snagged this guy, in a way. I think this guy actually unhooked himself and hooked himself again. All right beautiful beautiful little peacock this guy has like two little circles right there wow this place is nice there's peacock bass i haven't seen any snakehead but really really good day guys really good day Alrighty, guys my gopro is literally almost dead but i want to say thank you again to mr tackle box great baits really good like deal type of thing only 15 bucks dollars for like a month that's like really good we caught a bunch of fish i don't even know how many i'm thinking at least 10 and the biggest being that one beautiful peacock being a almost two pounds a pound and a half so awesome day. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'll see every single one of you guys in the next one. Peace.